I love to share great news, and I am excited to share great news with you. It's fun when it's about the king and his kingdom. And, you know, for 34 years, we've seen hundreds of thousands of spiritual decisions, but I get excited about the next ones, the next ones, the next ones. And in the last 10 days, there have been scores of spiritual decisions at university campuses, a, a men's conference group, an inner city group that discovered freedom in Christ. And then there was a group of junior hires last week when a speaker shared they discovered the joy of Jesus' love and forgiveness in their lives. Uh, I, I've been having fun with all of our, our speakers from Forge have been teaching Bible studies every week using our Forge Zoom account. And we've been getting to share the scriptures with people in Africa and, and Asia and across the Caribbean and, and Mexico, across all four time zones of the U.S. and Canada. And, and as people are discovering the joy of not only Jesus' love for them, but Jesus' invitation to them to become a kingdom laborer in their everyday world to lead a life of high impact, they're beginning to respond to what they're hearing as we're sharing these scriptures and truths. They're knowing it's true because of the Holy Spirit's prompt in their heart, and they're saying, it's my turn. Now, this is a new book that we just came out a few days ago with uh, through Amazon. It's available to you. And, and it's 20 chapters of women and men who made an impact in their world through kingdom laborship living. People are going through these chapters and going through the study questions at the end of the chapter. By the time they get to the end of the book, they're going, wait a minute. You know, it's not that complicated. I can lead a high impact life in my everyday world for, for Christ in these same ways. And they're beginning to respond saying, it's my turn to be a kingdom labor. And the good news I get to share with you is what Jesus, and this is his whole idea. You know, he looked everywhere and he said, the harvest is ripe. It's plentiful. He said the missing ingredient was, he said, the labors are few. But the great news is the labors are increasing. There's a whole bunch of people saying it's my turn to be one. And they are learning and enjoying what it means to live that life 24-7. So, you know, as a mission for 34 years, we have been joining Jesus. It's your heart cry, I'm sure, if you're listening to this, for more kingdom labors. That's our mission. Three words, more kingdom labors in every facet and sphere of society worldwide. We hit a bump in the road this year. No surprise. I mean, it's been a weird year, right? Uh, but the bump has been that COVID hit the finances of a bunch of our partners, and they have not been able to give what they once gave. They've only been able to give half or not at all yet this year. So we know that what looks god size, because it is, is not too big for God. Will you consider between now and the end of December, stepping up to where Jesus is at work and going, man, this has got to keep forging forward. And I want to do something I've never done before. You've, you've never had an opportunity to join Jesus in this way where he's at work. And you'd, you'd be able to give a gift between now and the end of December that would close this big gap that we're feeling right now. Nothing's impossible with God. And he just might be today inspiring you empowering you to do something you've never done, you didn't think you could do, and now's the time. We would love to have you join us on mission with Jesus. We're having the time of our lives. It's like when I was a teenager, I read the book of Acts, and I went, man, if you're still up to this kind of stuff, let me in. This is the time. Don't miss it. Don't be bewildered. Don't be hesitant. Don't be wondering what to do. Now's the time. Do something today. Go to forgeforward.org and, and leave a gift there and say, Jesus, this is for you. I'm joining your mission, and let's forge forward together.